Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I, and I also believe that the people who know him best on this subject should be trusted. Donald Trump reportedly declared it doesn't cost 60,000 bucks to bury a blanking Mexican after receiving the bill for a murdered soldier's funeral, which he had previously offered to pay. The claims, which the Trump campaign has strongly denied, appear in the recent article published in The Atlantic, which detailed the former president's alleged disdain for members of the military. Vanessa Guillen, a 20-year-old Army private, was bludgeoned to death on April of 2020 by a fellow soldier at Fort Hood in Texas. Her burned remains were only discovered two months later. Following the tragic incident, Trump invited Guillen's family to the White House, where he described the young woman as a spectacular person and said he would help the family out financially and with the funeral arrangements. However, in meeting in December 2020, Trump reportedly flew into a rage after being presented with a bill for $60,000. Attendees of the meeting told The Atlantic, the former president said it doesn't cost 60000 bucks to bury a blanking Mexican. It also reportedly told his chief of staff at the time, Mark Meadows, not to pay the bill and later accused the family of trying to rip me off per the outlet. The family lawyer told The Atlantic that no money ever came from Trump, ever. In statements shared with the independent members of the Trump campaign and former Trump staff members vehemently denied that such ex exchanges took place. Trump never said that. This is a outrageous lie from the Atlantic two weeks before the election, uh, said the Trump campaign advisor. Hey, so, so you did pay this? Do you have the receipt? Oh, you don't. You didn't pay this. So that's not up for debate because notice, notice they say, well, here's the receipt. We pay this. No, we know at least. Okay, first of all, can I just say, when I hear... And I mean, politics is complicated. Individual relationships are there. But when I hear this sort of thing about him talking about um, a woman with Mexican heritage who's proudly serving their military, how is anybody in the Hispanic Latino community supporting Trump? How is anybody? How is anybody in the military community supporting Trump? He's a slime ball. Once again, I want to give you the exact quote. Multiple people said he said, it doesn't cost 60,000 bucks to bury a blanking Mexican. And that's the F word. He said this. And once again, never once paid any money to the family, which he vowed he would pay. So you got him disrespecting the military. You got him disrespecting uh, 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 this, this Mexican soldier uh, with Mexican heritage, Hispanic heritage. You, you've got, um, you know, the... You have him basically once again out there. Get the cameras on me. Look at me. I'm Johnny Compassionate. I'm going to pay these bills. And he doesn't do it. And yet people are still. You wonder why I look at anyone that was willing to vote for this guy at this point and just say, you're just horrible human beings. You're just, you're just horrible human beings. The other big story, John Kelly, Trump's long ser longest serving chief of staff, made dire warnings Tuesday about what could happen if his former boss wins back the White House and confirmed disturbing comments the former president allegedly made about Adolf Hitler. Yes, that Hitler. Kelly, the former Marine general who also served as Trump's Homeland Security Secretary, spoke to both The Atlantic and The New York Times about his concerns, saying he was motivated to go on the record after Trump suggested he'd use military force against domestic political enemies. As Trump said to his chief of staff, Kelly spent more time behind closed doors with the former president than nearly anyone else who worked in his administration. Speaking to the Atlantic's Jeffrey Goldberg, Kelly was also confirmed an incident first divulged in a 2022 book in which Trump reportedly asked Kelly, why can't you be like, like the German generals? He claimed Hitler's generals were totally loyal to him. Here's Kelly's confirmation, according to Goldberg. Um, this week, I asked Kelly about their exchange. He told me that when Trump raised the subject of German generals, Kelly responded by asking, do you mean Bismarck's generals? He went on. I mean, I knew he didn't know who Bismarck was or about the Franco-Prussian War. I said, do you mean the Kaiser's generals? Surely he can't mean Hitler's generals. And he said, yeah, yeah, Hitler's generals. I explained to him that Rommel had to commit suicide after taking part of a plot against Hitler. Kelly told me Trump was not acquainted with Rommel. I, I, and by the way, how about Kelly basically saying he clearly had no idea about anything prior to World War II with with Germany that, you know, it's but yet he still he can't be talking about Hitler and his generals. He can't be talking about that. Trump's both people have repeatedly denied such a conversation ever happened. Now it's the second time it's been put forward. 
Kelly also confirmed previous reporting about Trump praising Hitler, telling the Times that more than once Trump told him, you know, Hitler he did some good things too. Trump's recent comments about the military against the enemy within are similar to remarks made while in office. Kelly told the Times saying he repeatedly had to inform Trump that he did not have the authority to use the military against American citizens. Vice President Kamala Harris called for President Trump's increasing, uh, uh, called out uh, for uh, uh, President Trump's increasing unhinged and unstable behavior on Wednesday, warning voters two weeks before the election of his desire for unchecked power. Harris's comments come after the Times published a report about Hitler. He said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally, one that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. In just the past week, Donald Trump has repeatedly called his fellow Americans the enemy from within, and even said that he would use the United States military to go after American citizens.